Hey, this is Mike. Got our first 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee on the lot. It's actually not on a lot yet. It hadn't even been washed yet. It just got off the truck. But um, that's our first one. And it just happens to be a, um, a, a fully loaded four-wheel drive Overland with a Hemi. 5.7 liter Hemi V8. So lots of features to, uh, to check out on this one. So far, just kind of looking it over, um, I hadn't really looked at it too much, but I hadn't seen anything that stood out as being a change. Let's check it out and let's find out. Change over the 2014s, I mean. You got your tow hooks in the front, and this one does have the adaptive cruise control with the crash mitigation and all that. There's a little radar sensor there in the front. You do have projector headlights and fog lights. This one is in granite. That's the color. Hopefully you can see the color pretty good in the video. So you can see it hadn't been hadn't been washed yet. You can see a little marking and markings and stickers and plastic around. But that does have some pretty neat wheels. All aluminum wheels, there's no covers on these. It is like a two-tone, a polished and like a gray. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up because it does have remote start. And it's got that 5.7 liter Hemi. I'm going to go ahead and start on this side here. Now the key is a proximity key which I can unlock the doors without having the key or just having the key in my pocket or whatever I can just kind of walk up and touch the handle and it unlocks the doors and I can relock it here but I'm going to go ahead and unlock it so that way we can check it out let's go ahead and start here on this door I guess there's the interior design you do have the wood grain trim there some stitching pocket this one has the tan interior you see all this wood here that's real wood it's no imitation there it's the overland badge there in a the seat and uh, you do have the heated and cooled seats perforated leather here power seat on a driver and passenger side as well as the lumbar support real high quality everything about this vehicle is quality Here's the inside of the back door. As you can see, there's no skimping on quality just because it's the, the back door here. Here's the back seats, and they are heated. Perforated leather, just like the front. It does have the latch system for car seats. You got the net pockets there. There's some USB ports for charging, as well as a uh, a 115 volt um, AC adapter there and there's your buttons for your heated seats and there's your vents now these seats do fold down I can just lift this up and it kind of folds down on its own this is where your your latch anchor goes there but these seats are 60 40 split so you can have a combination of passenger and cargo space that suits your needs As you can see this one has the towing package from the factory it also has a backup camera and backup parking sensors here in the back but um, it also has a power lift gate I'm gonna go ahead and open that up using the key I'm gonna go ahead and put the key in my pocket now I won't need it for the rest of the video so here's the back there's your cargo space. There's a subwoofer right there. There's a power outlet. You do have the sunshade there. There's some little um, anchors for the for the net. Little storage pocket there. There's a LED flashlight right here, and that way you can always have a have a light, you know, in case you need it. 
it is rechargeable and it stays right there it has like a little holder but under here is your spare tire and your tools and everything but also it has some storage bins and both of these come out and you can dump them and put them back in and I keep some stuff in there one on that side and one on this side I like the way they have these metal bars here um, some of the lower package uh, Grand Cherokees don't have these or if you're putting stuff in the vehicle it slides on these bars rather than rub against the carpet and it kind of protects the carpet uh, while you're putting suitcases or whatever back here so I'm gonna go ahead and lower the, the tailgate by using this button it beeps at you and gives you time to get out of the way and then it closes like I said this vehicle is not clean yet so you can see it's a little bit dirty but just wanted to show it show it to you as soon as I found out it was here so you can have this information in case you're shopping for a 2015 here's the window sticker I don't know if you can see it with the glare 2015 and um, I, you know I know it looks just like the 2014 so far so I just want to show you this is a 2015 does have the five star crash ratings there's the fuel economy not too bad considering it's got a 400 horsepower engine in it so this is the the rear door here just like the other side it's basically the same except you've got the this folds down the 60 percent side so you can have one passenger and more cargo space in case you need it you also have this armrest which has some cup holes in it as well. It does have heated side mirrors. And this little triangle right here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little triangle there. And I can't really demonstrate that unless we're out on the, the, the road. But when you are driving on the highway and that little triangle lights up, that's telling you that there is a vehicle in your blind spot. In the side of this vehicle, there's some radar sensors. And when, a, when you're driving and there's a car right in your blind spot, that is a blind spot detector. And if you were to put your turn signal on while that vehicle's in that, in that blind spot, it will give you audible alerts. So kind of keep you from getting in a, in a wreck there. It does have the power folding side mirrors both see the mirrors will fold in and out using that button there you do have the power you know, of course you can adjust both of them um, and also you have the power windows and power door locks there there's your presets on your seat there's your overland badge there automatic headlights I'm gonna go ahead and open up the fuel cap and actually it is a, a capless design this is this the door it does a seal right around here and um, this um, there's a certain once you put the nozzle there it'll, it'll go in but it's pretty much closed for now and just kind of remind you that there's no cap just in case you think you might have lost your fuel cap or something all right I'm gonna go ahead and hop in It's pretty quiet now you notice everything's kind of blacked out the air conditioning it the air conditioner is on and the radio is on but the um, everything is not fully on so I'm gonna go ahead and since I use a remote start I do have to push this button to kind of get everything to, to light up and turn on So let's go ahead and start on the steering wheel. It is a brand, like a brown color with some stitching. Um, it's like a tan and brown interior. Let me turn the radio down a little bit. Okay, so on the steering wheel, it does have a good thickness. Now this top part is wood, real wood. And it, it looks like it would be slippery, but it's actually very grippy when you got your hand on it. Um, and it is a heated steering wheel as well, 
but it's leather down here and then you've got that wood section right up here you got the nice Jeep emblem there so on the right side you've got your cruise control you just have to make sure that the cruise control is on before you set it and uh, and part of that cruise control system is your adaptive cruise control which you can turn it on here and you can set your distance between the car in front of you while you're on the highway and um, it'll you know pretty much stay at a at a safe distance from what I understand I don't have any um, a lot of real-world experience with this system I haven't driven one of these out on the highway and and um, and use this system but I knew I know the theory behind it and, um, and basically you know it does have a radar system and it will keep you at a set pace when the car in front of you starts to slow down it'll adjust the speed of this vehicle in order to match that vehicle so you keep a, a set distance from the vehicle in front of you all right now on the back of the steering wheel you see these silver things sticking up on the right and left they have a negative and a plus sign those are your uh, your paddle shifters to where you can uh, adjust the gear you're in basically it is an eight-speed transmission and you can upshift or downshift uh, depending on um, you know how you want it one example would be going down a steep hill and you want to downshift in order to uh, use the engine to slow you down versus you using your brakes all the time you can use the the paddle shifters to downshift uh, and this vehicle does have a sport mode which I'll show you in a few minutes and you can manually shift the gears through and uh, kind of you know drive it sporty especially with that V8 so it's pretty cool now just below the paddle shifter is a little toggle switch here and that is your volume to your radio so I'm going to turn the volume up and then on the left side you can change to the stations on the back of the steering wheel it just has that little button all right so I'm going to go ahead and turn it back down so you have those buttons in the back you have the cruise control here and the paddle shifters now on this side I'm going to start here this is your Bluetooth system and your voice recognition your Bluetooth is um, for your phone mostly and you can also uh, once you pair your phone you can answer calls um, you can make calls you can also you know there's your hang up button but um, you can also play music through your Bluetooth system and there's other other features there Pandora can be played through the system but um but that's, that's your answering your phone and hanging up your phone. Like say you can push that button and say, you know, call so-and-so and they'll call them. And as long as that so-and-so is in your phone book, um, you can do that. Voice recognition, um, that is where you can tune to a specific channel or call up a person or, you know, there's lots of different things. There's a whole, um, I'm going to do a video on the voice recognition showing you all the different commands that you can use and how useful it is. Uh, just keeping your hands on the steering wheel and controlling the vehicle uh, in a lot of ways So right above your right above there your Bluetooth stuff and your phone is This okay with some arrows and that corresponds with this menu here in the middle a little bit of a glare from the Sun Let me um, Let me move the vehicle a little bit now I'll put it in reverse I'm going to jump ahead a little bit, but the the side mirrors went down and the backup camera came on and your park sense uh, sensors came on so I'm gonna go ahead and back up we'll take a look at this uh, backup camera while I'm backing up so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like turning the steering wheel and you can see that the air the, the lines there on the screen are adjusting to my trajectory to kind of give me an estimated um, uh, path there but I'm going to go ahead and straighten the steering wheel up and I'm going to sit right here maybe that'll help with the glare and put it back in park and let's watch, see what the rearview mirrors do when I put it back in park there we, there we go they go back to their normal position all right so there now there's no not a significant glare anyway so let's go back to the menu talking about these buttons here and this screen so right now I'm going to scroll up. This is your speedometer screen. You can have a speedometer that looks like that, or you can have a big digital number, uh, which is pretty cool. So you have that choice, that one or that one. 
Now I'm going to scroll down. Right here you see that the, I'm scrolling through this menu right here. So I'm going to scroll down. And, um, you know, it's going to give me some options here. This is the tire pressure. And this is the, the vehicle info um, option. So I'm going to, it's showing me the tire pressure. But I'm going to push to the right. And then keep pushing to the right. And you can see the different temperatures and pressures of the vehicle. And it goes, scrolls back to there. I'm going to scroll down. This is your four-wheel drive, four drive controls information. Um, this is your air ride suspension, which this vehicle has. And right now we're at normal height. I'm going to scroll again. This is your uh, your drivetrain. That's going to kind of show you if you're going off-road. Uh, your uh, like the wheel articulations there. This is your drivetrain, and it shows you which. Right now we're just rear-wheel drive. There's your wheel articulation. You can see the minimum and the maximums. Wish I can demonstrate all that to you, but I can't. Uh, cruise control is off, and uh, of course, you know, it has a little symbol right here. I don't know if you can see it very good, but um, you can see. Let's see here. Well, I can't really focus in on that, but it looks like a little vehicle with little lines around it, kind of showing you that it does have radar. And sensors in front, back, and sides, which is pretty cool. And here's your uh, your fuel economy. It'll be you know current uh, once you as you're driving. It'll kind of give you a green air number there. There's trips. You have a trip A and trip B. This is uh, your radio information. Stored messages will be there. And uh, your setup screen is pretty neat. It goes into you can change your different things on the screen uh, the way you want it. And we're back to the speedometer. But the rest of the gauges are pretty much self-explanatory there. And your uh, windshield wipers. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it does have rain-sensing windshield, windshield wipers. So once it starts raining, it'll, the windshield wipers will come on and everything. All right. Let's continue on. I am limited on time. Here's some uh, stitching right here on the, on the dash. And everything is kind of soft to the touch and quality looking all right let's move on to the radio here or should I say that's kind of like a computer and there's a little bit of a glare right now hopefully you'll be able to see it pretty good but right now here's your tabs at the bottom your radio tab this is where your of course your AM FM uh, satellite radio and with the purchase of a new vehicle you do have one year of satellite radio um, media this is where you have your Bluetooth and SD card and and uh, USB inputs which are down here in this little compartment there's your SD card USB and auxiliary inputs this is where you'll be able to access those it does have a CD player as well and uh, the CD player is in here of all places and here's your con what they call controls your heated seat ventilated seats and um, heated steering wheel controls are there also your um, mirror dimmer is there um, you do have a lot of settings as far as like uh, you know like how long you want the radio to stay on after you turn the engine off stuff like that climate is right here this is basically you have the re you know some buttons down here but you have some controls up here as well you can adjust your fan you can adjust where you want the air to blow, uh, the temperature on the driver and passenger, stuff like that. Navigation. This is where you can, you know, you can view the map, see where you're at, where you're, where you're headed, or whatever. Uh, you can also put in an address. Uh, you can set your home address. You can go to points of interest, um, stuff like that. Your phone. Uh, right now we don't have a, a phone paired, but once you do have it paired. You'll have some favorites there, recent calls, your phone book, you can dial and send and receive calls. You can transfer it to your headset, now your hand, your regular um, phone in case you want to do a private call right there. So lots of cool things there. All right, and apps. And um, this is a, some of this stuff is a paid service. So you want to, you know, you, when you register, you want to pay attention to what's paid, what's not. One of the cool things, that, you know, you can have a Wi-Fi hotspot, which is one of the paid things. Um, I'm going to just mention one thing before I get too much further. Where it says via mobile, 
on all these these different programs that's using your data off your phone so you just want to make sure that you're you know keeping track of your data on your phone and travel link which is pretty cool for uh, it's a satellite radio service and uh, you can like check fuel prices and and sort them by price and distance and also you can it'll give you your phone their phone number and and you can go now and it'll, your navigation will take you there but especially um, useful for if you're at in a area that you're not familiar with and you kind of need to get some fuel um, you just kind of choose that and you can kind of find the nearest gas station at the same time kind of shop for prices too as well movie listings uh, weather I mean there's lots of cool stuff in there in the, in the, the travel link but um but there's that I can get out of there but there's your you know your main features there across the bottom um, on your touch screen of course you got the time at the top your temp temperature outside your compass I'm facing south right now um, you know some basic information there at the top as well you can always turn the screen off if it's distracting you too here's your climate control here is some stuff you don't normally see on this one uh, especially on some vehicles I know these look like they're flashing on the camera but they're not it's just the way the cameras uh, picking them up the parking sensors uh, you can turn those off in case you know you need to get close to something and you don't want to hear any beeping noises uh, this is the crash mitigation button now the default is on but you can turn it off by pushing that button basically if I'm not, I can't really think of a reason why you'd want to turn it off maybe I'm not sure but maybe you get close to a I don't know but basically the crash mitigation is it doesn't av completely avoid you from from getting in a crash but if if the sensors pick up that you're going too fast to slow down and you're gonna hit something it tries to slow down slow you down as much as possible before you actually hit make that collision so um, it's a crash mitigation it doesn't avoid the crash it just kinda lessens the the severity of the crash eco mode um, that's a default on unless you turn it off and um, basically that just kinda keeps you uh, keeps you from at the most optimal fuel economy um, you know this is, does have a V8 and when you're driving it will go to a four cylinder engine while you're driving at a normal smooth not you know not in a hurry speed so and it kind of cycles on and off depending on the power so this is part of that system right there this is your uh, traction control and uh, and roll mitigation stuff like that you can turn the traction control off some stuff you can it won't turn off but basically if you want to do donuts and really get um, spin tires and stuff you go ahead and turn it off otherwise it'll stay on all the time and it's basically to keep you uh, straight on the road so you don't spin out there's the storage pocket with the inputs there there's your shifter and like I said it does have the you know the backup camera and stuff but I'm gonna go ahead and put it down and drive and right here says I'm in drive to the right and I'm gonna push it down again it goes into sport mode and you got that cool little flag and the picture of your vehicle and, and you know kind of sporty look but in order to get back and drive push it down again you don't go up so um you know just go down and it swaps from sport mode to drive so I'm always going down 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 and sport mode you know of course it wants to give you the highest performance over uh, economy so basically it's going to use more gas but it's going to give you the highest performance this vehicle um, can give you in that situation like if you need to get to the hospital or whatever you don't care about um, fuel economy while you're trying to get to the hospital fast so you can put it in sport mode and it will keep your rpms high it'll keep your um, everything uh, for very uh, it'll be prepared for aggressive driving basically so i'm going to go ahead and put it in park here's your cup holders four-wheel drive controls uh, this vehicle also has the air ride suspension to where I can lower the vehicle I can't really show you unless I have a separate camera outside but this vehicle go up or down and a pretty pretty good amount I hadn't really measured it but it does go up and down pretty pretty good several inches and um, 
there's your four drive controls automatic setting is probably pretty much the best now if you're going in you know rock mud sand or snow then you know you can choose those accordingly four wheel drive low that's for some serious crawling and right here is your downhill descent button that's not for dry pavement that's for you know off-road conditions only and here's your center console CD player a little storage pocket with a power supply in there nice big glove compartment which is felt lined and right here is a rear view mirror that's auto dim uh, it does have the 911 button and an assistance button right here is a place to put your sunglasses lights this is, you can open up the tailgate pushing that button there's a floodlight that's more of a spotlight but on both sides this is for your garage door controls right here now this does have a panoramic sunroof which is pretty huge and the controls for it are up here so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the vent the, um, the, the shade I mean push it all the way back it's huge really big all the way back to the passenger side now if I want to vent it I can push the vent button and close that and I can open the front and you can see it has that little curtain there to, I guess to keep bugs or something from flying in and that way you can you know you get access to the sky and you can close it like that now only the front opens the back doesn't open And then if you want to close the shade, you just push the shade button one time. And that closes up. And that way, you, you know, in case you don't want any, any sun on you at all that, that day, you can do that number. All right. I mean, there's lots of features of this vehicle and I can go on for forever. Let's go ahead and check under the hood and we'll wrap it up. Seven liter V8 Hemi. There's some components for your air ride suspension there. there you have it um, if you have any questions or you know if I skipped over something or anything or if you have any uh, clarifications let me know uh, my name is Mike and my phone number and email address will be in the description see you next time